It's your girl Kiana and I am back with another video if you're new here welcome so this video I saw it reminded me of the last video that I did the list of requirements that women have for men and let's go ahead and just jump right into it but before I go ahead and get started give this video a thumbs up if you haven't hit that subscribe button go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell next to it so you can be notified when I upload new videos if you're not already following my Instagram my Instagram is at I a m underscore k i i i k i and I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into this video Heather bought me her list of requirements so let's check them out he must be between 30 and 45 financially stable no kids 510 or taller no hookups or flings ready to settle down, no roommates, no smoking, must love dessert, and can't be anti-sugar. <laughs> what, what, what's the deal with the desserts? Well, okay, that's a really important one because I'm the founder and CEO of my own frosting company. And so it's an all-natural gourmet frosting, and so I make a lot of desserts. Okay. And I do a lot of, you know, trade shows and making desserts. Right. So he has to like dessert. If he doesn't like dessert, it's totally a deal breaker. Right. In other words, she wants the man to be able to be her taster, <laughs> her frosting taster. Um, wow, okay, that was a lot to take in. It actually goes with what I was saying in the last video. For a woman to have all of these boxes on the list and most men might be able to check off some of them, majority of them, but not all of them. And um, a lot of women have these requirements for men nowadays, modern women, or not even modern women. This show, this episode was fairly old, in between five to 10 years ago. So it's not just even today, it's even years ago and probably up to 15 to 20 years ago, women had these requirements for men to be a certain way or have these certain attributes about themselves that a woman will only accept them and I don't think it's realistic. Totally a deal, totally a deal breaker. Okay, but there's some more requirements, so let's take a look at these. Must be uh, honest, reliable, sweet and kind, quick-witted, romantic, must love food, must pay on the first date, no flowers on the first date, must be a social drinker, and must never wear sweatpants. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, those are... Wait, wait, wait. Steve's face was like, no sweatpants? What are you talking about, lady? Like, uh, most men like wearing sweatpants. Like, men are not going to want to be walking around in jeans or khakis all day. They're going to want to wear, you know, sweatshorts or sweatpants. And come on now, like, that's, that's just outrageous. Outrageous. <laughs> her face like, well, I'm just going to go ahead and justify this. Oh, face God. He, wh why, he can't wear sweatpants. No. The last guy I dated, he we fought all the time because he wanted to go to Starbucks in sweatpants and go to breakfast in sweatpants, and no one should be doing that. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, we got some more requirements, but we don't have no more room. Uh, <laughs> Guys, let, let me get one of the pillars over here. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see. Must be adventurous, must be humble, must be spontaneous, must be a planner, can't be self-centered, can't be cocky, must love dogs, can't own a dog from a breeder, can't be jealous of her dog, and can't own a cat. The hell, what? <laughs> You, you, you can't buy a, you can't have a dog from a breeder? Yeah, I mean, listen, Steve, there's so many dogs out there that are in need of homes that are shelter dogs, and they're really sweet, great dogs. So any guy that's going to spend a ton of money to buy a purebred dog, it just says something about his character. I don't like yeah, that. Yeah, he wants a dog? <laughs> but he can adopt. Okay. Okay, he can't be jealous of your dog. So the last guy I dated, he admitted after a few months that he was jealous of my dog and he was kind of mean to my dog in the beginning. And he said that I gave my dog more attention than I gave to him. Did you? Well. 
I mean, my dog never fought with me. That's cause your dog ain't got to live up to all them damn requirements. <laughs> Right, most women be like, well, my dog is going to be there to support me. Um, your dog can't talk. Your dog is not going to, you know, be able to provide for you. Um, your dog can just sit there and look cute and you cuddle him. But if you give him more affection, if you give your dog more affection than your man, then of course your man is going to kind of be a little bit mad that you even have the dog because you're giving more love to the dog than him. That's a no brainer. Your dog probably go to hell. Woo! <laughs> Man, damn, glad I'm a dog. <laughs> We're not done yet. Uh, we can get another pillar. In fact, <laughs> yeah. Let's bring all of them in here. Bring both of them over. I love it. You ready? Must be in shape. Can't have six pack abs. Can't have six pack abs. Can't be too skinny. Can't have a runner's physique. Can't be stronger than me. Can't be, <laughs> can't be obsessed with sports. Can't be a hunter. Can't own a boat. Can't be a gamer. Can't be materialistic. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be out. <laughs> can't be materialistic. What, what does that mean? He can't, he can't want anything? He can't want to buy things all the time. Can you talk to my wife? <laughs> Probably. OK, let's keep going. Uh, must respect a gluten-free... <laughs> must respect a gluten-free diet. Can't be too close to family and friends. Must open doors for me. Must be willing to move someplace warm. Must love traveling. Can't, can't brag about traveling. Oh, oh, we can go there, but you can't tell nobody. <laughs> you shut your mouth. What you telling everybody we was in Arizona for? Uh, must maintain eye contact. Can't be a party boy. Can't be intimidated by me. Favorite season can... What? <laughs> Favorite season cannot be fall. All right, so by her list, she basically needs to get a dog and keep that dog because that is so unrealistic, outrageously, just like mind blowing. I'm really sitting here like, what? You can't, your favorite season can't be fall. So you're, that, that, uh, that's a deal breaker if a man's, favorite season is fall. That's why he likes wearing sweatpants. That's why he wants to go to Starbucks in sweatpants. But why is that a problem with women that they want to have to control a man? They want to be able to dictate everything a man does. That's why women like that are single. And that's the problem that we have in our community. That's the problem That's the problem that I see in my community as a black woman. I see that obviously, you know, just delusional women have this idea that I can create this whole list and yeah, you check off everything but one. You can't like, you, you can't, um, you, you have to maintain eye contact so if i look away if a man looks away just for a second to even blink or something like he has to stare the whole time but if he blinks she's like oh that's a dirt breaker i'm done women should not have the mindset that a man is going to do everything she asks or tells him to do that's a pet you want somebody that you can control tell what to do, t tell him what to eat, tell him what to drink, tell him when to sleep and use the bathroom and tell him when to do everything and what he can do. At this point, this woman and women like that will forever be single because they have this unrealistic fairy tale life. That's not even a fairy tale. That's just so unrealistic, so delusional and just outrageous that no man would even want to try to date her. She'll run them off on the first date. I wanna skip it along and see what um, Steve Harvey has to say about that. 
because she has a long list and I hope she don't have no more pillars. Do you like quiet time? I do. You gonna have a lot of- <laughs> She laughed. Heather. <laughs> yeah. Heather. You're young, you're smart. This is a lot, man. Yes. You gotta go. See, if you're looking for a guy with all of that, yeah. I don't know that he exists. No, no. He's gotta exist. You okay. don't think so? Well, let me ask you something. Been eight years. <laughs> I've dated a lot since then. Right, okay, so let me ask you, you got another eight you want to do just like? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. No, I don't. Okay, then do you understand what I'm getting at? I'm just trying to help you, Heather. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I just looked over there and I forgot I m must maintain eye contact. <laughs> I want to bring up a point where, you know, Steve, he works with a lot of people. He is an entertainer, so he's going to make light of that situation. But he was just basically trying to get her to understand that that man doesn't exist. And she would literally have to be a scientist. A scientist that lives in the backyard of her mother's house uh, in the shed and just experimenting on how to create a man with all of these qualities that she wants out of a man. He said that man does not exist and he knows that because he talks to a lot of people. He knows a lot of people and that is the reality of it. I said she's laughing. She thinks that it's funny. She thinks that it's cute. She thinks that having this list is okay. She thinks that a man won't call her crazy. She's like, <laughs> Steve said, that man does not exist. She said, really? No, he has to. In what world? Not Earth, not this world, probably not ever, most likely not ever. <laughs> but the fact that she was literally like, no, he has to like, that's like you telling a kid that always thought Santa was real and then come to find out that Santa is not real. No, he has to be real. You know what? No, it's, it's, it's not that. So he just has to change. So I'm going to leave that right there. Tell me what you think about this video. Go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.